cases, an accident occurs every five minutes, resulting in death. One resulting in injury every three seconds. 83% of them due to carelessness. What causes accidents? Carelessness, most of them. We all know that. Ah, yes, we do know that. But do we know why they are careless? I don't. Do you? Do you? So, why don't we bring one of them from down there, up here, and find out? something that I feel you should do. Uh... Mr. Potter, we want your help. My help? Yes. Look here. Look at the accidents that have happened in your community during the past year. Homes, for example. Accidents in every room in the house, as well as the basement and garage. Practically all of them due to carelessness. Why is it, George Potter, that so many of you people down there are careless? Well, frankly, I haven't given that much thought. Can't you people see that if carelessness is wiped out, accidents will be virtually eliminated? But you can't prevent accidents. They just happen. Nothing just happens. Not even here. Well, I don't see how else you can explain them. There must be some way to prevent accidents. No, no, it's no use. It's strictly a matter of luck. So many accidents are going to happen every year, no matter what. And if your number comes up, you're going to have one. If it doesn't, you won't. That's the way I see it. He's the kind of fellow who takes chances, sir. Very typical. All right, maybe I do now and then. What's wrong with that? Nothing ever happens to me. George Potter, let me tell you something. You and people who think as you do are just plain not smart. Maybe you think an accident just can't happen to you. Maybe you think there's just nothing you can do to prevent your own accidents. Maybe it helps your ego to think this way, George Potter, but it's not safe. Safe for you, your family, or the people you work with. Remember, your carelessness can cause harm not only to yourself, but to others as well. Sir? I know now why people like you are careless. You just don't think. You just don't realize the importance of your own safety to you. That you're the person responsible for your own safety. Fortunately, not everyone has an attitude toward the prevention of accidents like yours, George Potter. Here is an industrial plant, for example. A lot of people working with a great deal of moving machinery. You might think they'd have more accidents, but they don't. Actually, records show it's the safest place in town. Somebody is doing something there to eliminate the main cause of all accidents, carelessness, and indifference to fundamental rules of safety. Take this man down there. Find out why their safety record is so outstanding. This is our next stop, the safest place in the community. Actually, people are safer here than they are in their own homes. The records prove it. If people would stop and think before they take a chance, weigh the possible gain against the possible loss, the majority of accidents would be prevented. But how to get people to think? I suppose you'd like to have more safety rules, huh? No, there are plenty of rules now. Maybe more signs? Wherever you go now, there are safety signs. No, it takes something more. Something they must be doing in this plant, for instance. Safety director. Hmm. No, wait a minute. We can't just barge in there. Oh, we won't barge in. We'll just ease in. Like this. And that's the reason we'd like to get the story and what you're doing here to promote safety. We feel it would make a good feature for our Sunday magazine section. We're not doing anything spectacular or that isn't being done in many places in this community. 
Well, that might be, but whatever it is, it must be pretty good to get so many awards. Well, naturally, we're proud of those. But to answer your question, I think the reason for our success, at least the main reason, might well be the sincere interest top management of this plant has for the safety of every employee working here. A motor repairman was moving a motor using a hoist. A hook was used to fasten the motor to the hoist to lift it. He pulled on the motor toward himself and the hook came loose, allowing the motor to fall to the floor and on his foot. Now this accident didn't happen in this plant, but it could. I noticed on my last inspection trip a number of instances where hoists were being used without chain hitches. And on two cases, the load was being pulled toward the worker instead of pushed. We do have rules on proper use of hoists, don't we? Yes, we do. This sort of thing can cause a serious accident. Let's get right after this one. Make sure that the foreman emphasize this in their safety talks to the men. Let's check on this again at our next meeting. That's the sort of thing that goes on in management safety meetings. It reviews and studies safety performances and conditions regularly and recommends plant safety policies. The superintendents meet regularly with their supervisory staffs and pass on the plant safety policies and, in turn, receive suggestions from them on how to improve safety conditions. In a similar way, supervisors pass the safety policy applications on to employees. But it's a two-way deal we have here. Works either down the ladder or up the ladder as well. Safety is part of every man's job here. We're all one big safety committee. Employees offer suggestions to their supervisors or through the suggestion plan system. We're all plugging for the same thing here, a safe place to work for everyone, top to bottom. However, in the final analysis, the success of our program, of any program, depends upon each individual. No one can be safe for him. When the urge to ignore a safety rule, ignore a safety guard, violate a safety practice, in a word, when the urge to take a chance comes to it, he alone must make the decision whether he will take the chance or not. So you see, sir, people like George Potter are careless because they just don't realize the cost of carelessness, because they aren't trained in safety practices, because they don't recognize that safety is an individual matter. They lull themselves into thinking they can get by, that accidents are something over which they have no control. Yet places like this industrial plant are proving that that sort of an attitude can be changed. Education, continuous education, is the answer. Well, are you convinced now that accidents don't just happen, George Potter? I guess I did have the wrong slant in this accident business. You can count on me from now on. 